Hey there boys and girls, it's time for uh, part four of the monogram Hawker Typhoon here on the Shutter East Scale Model Channel. Now what are we doing this time around? We are painting the pilot, finishing up the cockpit, doing that uh, flat coat, and uh, oh, slapping this whole thing together and getting the fuselage done. So um, another interesting thing I found a difference in the uh, 1969 instructions versus the 1990 instructions. The 1990 instructions show you to put the uh, the floorboards in backwards, <laughs> um, which I did initially, but I did fix it. Um, I don't think I showed that in the video, but but that did get fixed, and uh, I think that's about it. Um, yeah that's it for for this one so hey uh thanks for stopping by and i hope you enjoy it so this pilot um, RAF uniforms, um, I'm not aficionado, but um, I know they were like this grayish blue. Um, so what I've decided I'm going to use is this PRU, faded PRU blue from Vallejo Model Air. It's 71109. Um, PRU blue is what the, the RAF used on their reconnaissance aircraft. So, um, but it's close enough, and close enough is what we do, right? <laughs> I've also got, um, for his uh, May West, I've got this Vallejo Monocolor Flat Yellow, which I hate. And I've got uh, the Tamiya XF3 Flat Yellow, which is probably what I'm going to use. This stuff is just, I cannot it's almost like you can't bend this stuff enough to make it work. Um, whereas this is much more friendly, at least for me. Um, obviously, we're going to need some brown. So I got a light brown and a khaki brown. And I say obviously because I'm thinking, you know, glasses or um, gloves, flight helmet, boots, um, the, the uh, grip on the control stick, things like that. Um, obviously we're going to, well, not obviously, but we're probably going to need some black somewhere. And good old enamel chrome silver for the goggle lenses. Because acrylic metallics never look right, in my opinion. I haven't found any acrylic metallics that I like, put it that way. So here's our pilot. Um, if you remember him, the only thing we've done is uh, white primer and a wash with brown uh, Tamiya Panoline accent color. That's it. Now, we could go do the black white primer um, thing and whatnot in this scale. And, and he's going, being that it's 48 scale and he's going in the cockpit. You're wasting your time in my opinion. So we're not going there. We're going to, we're going to start right here. Yes. There's some bare plastic where I scraped off seams and stuff. I don't care. It's fine. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. All right. So first things first, let's, um, first thing you need to do is figure out where you're going to start. Um, you know what I forgot? I forgot a flesh color. So let me, um, let me grab something here. Now this isn't going to be world class up uh, figure painting here. Um, for two reasons. One, I'm not a world class figure painter. Number two, um, it's 48 scale. And number three, as I said, it's going in a cockpit, so it doesn't need to be that great for, for all of those reasons. So I'm just going to tack this under here. 
so it doesn't unfold on me. There we go. Okay, now, do we paint the vest or do we paint the majority of the uniform next? Well, normally I would say you paint the uniform and then paint the vest because the vest is on top of the uniform, work from the inside out. And that's what I'm going to do here. But you could make the argument that you want to get the yellow done as soon as possible. And he looks all right. We're just going to let him dry and uh, we'll be back. Okay. Um, I don't know how much of that. I know I got out of frame, so I don't know how much we missed on the, the painting of the pilot. But there he is, and he is painted in there. Um, my light for the other side here died so let me turn this one on here see if this helps a little bit um, there we go that helps that definitely helps a bit um so he uh he looks decent you know he's not great doesn't have to be great it's gonna be closed canopy um cockpit looks good and you're not gonna be able to see any of this 
as we got our tailwheel in there, our radiators in. I uh, these were just attached with super glue. Um, just as they should have been, you know, just how the instructions call for them. They just go on these pens. I did flat coat the inside with the uh, the Liquitex Basics Matte Varnish. I really like this stuff. It airbrushes great out of the bottle. I think this 250 milliliter bottle is like 10 bucks. Eight bucks, 10 bucks, something like that. And uh, it's great. Um, okay, we don't need that yet. So we are at the point where we can put the fuse together. So I'm gonna look at it again here real quick and make sure everything is where it needs to be. Everything lines up and it does. Um, now I have a choice to make here. Do I use the Tamiya Extra Thin or do I go with something maybe a little bit um, more aggressive, more heavy duty? Um, and the reason I say that is because this is, this is not modern kit styrene. This is 1990s kit styrene. So what, Jim? Why does that matter? It matters because this stuff is is hard. This is very hard, very much harder than, than anything we get nowadays, uh, regardless of manufacturer, um, or it seems to be anyway. So, um, So that's something, you know, to be aware of. So I, my concern is, is is the extra thin will not um, bond well here. And that's okay. Um, so what I've got is the old, uh, the old to me, uh, um, not old, but I've got regular old to me, uh, plastic cement so this is the uh oh what do you want to call it regular regular uh, duty or or whatever that you can put on and then put the parts together um it doesn't dry right away it's goopy for lack of a better word and it's much more likely to penetrate um to melt this harder plastic and it's um like i said it's not going to dry right away which is definitely a huge plus the my other choice for this would have been mek and i could have done that um mek is is not as thick but it is definitely hot um, so that would have been a good choice but i think we're okay with this and i'm just going to put this together here get it lined up things where they need to be close this up because that stuff will definitely make you high <laughs> And, uh, yeah, start grabbing some clamps. Uh, let's see here. Whoops, sorry, didn't mean to hit the camera there. And you may notice my clamps or something on the jaws. And what that is, is I actually glued um, sandpaper to the jaws of my uh, clamps so that they would not slip on the surface.
of the plastic like they tend to do. So that's why those are there. So we're gonna put this together here like this. Yeah. Let it bond, all right? Let it bond, let it bond. Do we need something up front here? It doesn't really look like it. It looks like the front's doing well. I'm a little concerned that this clamp is a little too stiff. I don't think it really matters much because this is going together quite well. Um, uh, the fit is really excellent here, so I'm not too worried about the front, the nose here coming apart at all, honestly. I'll put this up here just for the heck of it. If I can get it to stay, the angle, it may not stay because of the angle. Doesn't look like it's going to. Oh, there we go. Well, as you can see there, um, you know, like I always said, I'm a hack. <laughs> Use what you got, right? Go with it, um, and 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 just go for it and have a have a good time and put it together. Is that the best pilot I've ever painted? No, um, it's it, but he's a. Uh, you know, first of all, he's 148 scale. Second of all, that cockpit's tiny. And third of all, it's closed canopy, right? So it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, we got it all sealed up. We got the fuselage sealed up. All that stuff's in there. So next time we're going to deal with flying services, um, landing gear doors, uh, probably even mask the canopy, and probably have it maybe even get some primer on it i don't know we'll see um we'll definitely be ready to do seam work by the time we're done on the next episode i, I would i would hope that's my prediction anyway all right hey uh thanks for stopping by like subscribe comment all that good stuff go check out some of the old videos there's a couple hundred on here um, some of them are old and lame and some of them are new and lame but you know whatever um, you need to have like a roulette, shutter race roulette. Bzz, you hit the button and it just pops the shutter race video up, right? I could do that on the website. That's not a bad idea. Anyway, hey, as usual, take care of the people you love. We'll see you next time. Bye.